First of all, what you're seeing is a step-by-step, color-by-color construction of a painting. I begin with a pencil outline of a, of a projected photograph and paint with only one primary color at a time, red, yellow, or blue, diluting each color in clear medium to transparency. As I paint, secondary colors form on the canvas in layers, back to front. What can't be seen in digital is that the surfaces are smooth and deep and transparent enough to see canvas weave behind some passages. My art is about connection because after leaving military service, I was feeling very disconnected. I came back to do a grab bag survey of graduate courses in various university departments on GI assistance, finally deciding to pursue art. What art offered that other academic pursuits did not was immediate feedback and physical involvement. I discovered that when making art, thought manifests in the world immediately. I dip a brush, I touch it to paper, I'm making art. I reasoned that if I applied myself with diligence, the marks would eventually begin to speak, and in the process, I'd be reeling myself back toward the present moment. In this way, art has been a personal quest directly contrary to the general movement known as contemporary art. I'm committed to the present moment in a philosophical way. I never conceive metaphorically on any level and just have never had time for irony. I'm only interested in what's visible to everyone in real time. The Song of the Senses in a certain respect, the subject of my work is sight itself, since it directly acknowledges and utilizes the mechanics of our visual apparatus. I conceive of my work as though it was jazz and used representational images the way the musician improvises on a familiar melody, inserting their individual perspective in the space between what the listener expects to hear and what's actually being played. In a similar way, I'm beginning with common property, shared memory, and ordinary images and reprocessing the information, amping and augmenting the cues we use to decipher our world. The goal is to illuminate the mundane, to elevate the fleeting moment of consciousness, to reaffirm our attachment to the planet and to our own experience as it passes. For me, painting and all visual art have the same primary objective, to engage the attention in an ongoing and continuous way, and to modify and enhance the space it occupies. Thanks for listening and for watching the whole thing. Feel free to direct questions or comments to the website.